Once a week, workers at Louisville's Metropolitan Sewer District collect sewer water underground to better understand what's going on above ground. A telltale sign of everything that comes from a household. You know, everything from what you washed that day to maybe what y'all ate, you know, to potentially what medicines you're taking. In some places, they've been able to uh, precede outbreaks by as much as a week uh, by looking in the wastewater. In Ted Smith is a researcher at the University of Louisville. Since May, he and his team have been studying those water samples to try and stay ahead of outbreaks. This is uh, potentially um, a really important cost-effective tool for In the next few weeks, he hopes to have data similar to this coming out of Tempe, Arizona, which shows levels of coronavirus detected in wastewater over time. Well, I think as a researcher, it feels good to be doing something, you know, uh, in this in this fight against this pandemic. Francis de los Reyes is doing similar research at North Carolina State University. The idea is that we're going to uh, pool our data together and and um, cross-check each other's numbers. From Washington, D.C. to Houston to Los Angeles, he says researchers are studying sewer water with a goal of collaborating. So that we may have a you know, set of methods and insights that may cut across different types of cities. Right now, the research is still in its infancy, but over the next couple of months, many researchers predict wastewater testing will provide early warning of COVID-19 by a week or more and track infection trends. It may allow cities to save money, possibly millions of dollars a year on testing, determine infection rates in neighborhoods, and identify hotspots. The city can decide to, to do something like increase public testing in those areas, change social practices in those areas, this wastewater testing at UofL is part of a much bigger project that also involves testing about 2,400 people every two months for coronavirus and its antibodies. By testing both people and wastewater, researchers hope to better track the spread of the virus in Jefferson County and be more prepared to fight it. For Focus, I'm Paula Vassan.